It's time for Live in Tallahassee, the region's number one source for entertainment news. Live in Tallahassee is brought to you by these local businesses, North Florida Women's Care, Kraft Nissan, Brian Barnard's Flooring America, and the law offices of Johnny Devine. And now, here are tonight's hosts. Hours before game time, you are looking at Dope. Campbell Stadium filling up for what was supposed to be the last game of the season, but John Summers, Joel Silver here for extended football coverage as we bring you the 2017 season, which tonight will not be the last game. We have one more after this. That's right. We're going to make up the game that we uh, missed because of the hurricane, and I think that's like December 3rd or something, but uh, it's homecoming. 2017 Florida State. Hey. I'm a grad, you're a grad. It's great to be here. And to all graduates of FSU everywhere, yes. all alumni, wow. Congratulations to all of us for making it this far. You know, when we were at the alumni luncheon at the start of the season, it seems like a year ago, I think Scott Atwell said there's like a half a million yeah. FSU grads around the country, the world, you know, it's amazing. So today we celebrate people that went to Florida State and graduated Florida State homecoming. It's great. Well, we have a fantastic show for you tonight, folks. Obviously, we're here at the game right now, but later in the show, homecoming was just slammed with activities. We're going to take you on a tour of the entire weekend of homecoming activities, and we'll show you everything that happened here on campus. And then after the game, Cole Swindell is going to be right out here on the field. It's going to be incredible. Free concert, dope after dark. And later also in the show, we're going to keep up with the football theme. We're going to take you to the quarterback club. Tallahassee Quarterback Club tell you more about that because they had a cool speaker and honored some great high school athletes. All that on a jam-packed edition. So, John, I think we better get started. Yes, sir. I saw some tailgate parties. Let's go out. Check those out right now. Kelly, the son of the world famous but locally unappreciated Bill Kelly. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Not much, man. Having a great time here, buddy. It's great to see you, Josh. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we have a great time. Like, I, when I first came in, I didn't know like anybody here. You know, I, I was a girl here. She, yeah. I, she brought me over, and I just met everyone here. It's a great time. Great time. Great drinks. Great friends. You know, joining a lot of people. It's so much fun. So much fun. You win the free bottle of Fireball, so there you go. Hey, Fireball is where it's at. Hey, this is Sean and Grant. We're from St. Augustine, and we came all the way to Tally just to see FSU take on the Delaware State. And let me tell you, the Champions Club is great. The food, the ice cream, the cookies, the M&Ms, and the snacks, it's all about it here at the Doak. Coming, taking the field now. This is really cool. I came across Beth. I bet it's a thrill to be back here at Dope Campbell Stadium. It really is. It's it's like it's like I never left. You know, and uh, what, what year were you? 
I graduated in 98. 98, oh my gosh, and you played the horn. I play the horn, it's been 20 years since I've been back. You know, what a great tradition to bring back the members of the Marching Chiefs and, you know, to help support the, the kids coming up. And uh, it's it's just, it gives people goosebumps to see you guys out there. It's it's really great. I, I couldn't be prouder of these kids and I know what a great time they're having and how hard they're working. And they're continuing a great tradition of the greatest college band in the country. The greatest, that's right. Go Knowles! Go Knowles! Well, I actually found a marching chief that I know Jay and I went to Leon High School together about a thousand years ago. That's correct. Tell, tell me what it's like to be back out here on Doak. It's a it's great feeling. It is a great feeling to be out here on the field, seeing all these people cheering for us. It is awesome. And uh, are, are, are a lot of your uh, members of your class out here that you were actually in the yes. Chiefs with? Yes, we have about, uh, about, about 20 people from my years that are actually here wow. this time. Yep. sidelines now with Randy who is Miss Florida Seminole hey guys. and we love homecoming we always like to make sure we talk to you and uh, find out what you think about all this excitement going on for homecoming it's amazing a gold knows um, it was such an honor to go out and crown the homecoming king it was, it was something special never forget this you know every year the princess comes down to crown them and it's always such a big event for the princess it's such a good um, partnership with the Seminole tribe and the FSU Knowles. all right we have tracked down the chief and princess Devante and Emily here they are just after being crowned on the field. How are you feeling? Absolutely incredible. The moment I walked down that field in between the marching chiefs, it was absolutely indescribable. Yeah, this is definitely an amazing experience. It's nothing you can even say to explain the feeling that you feel marching on the field. It was a long process, but it was so much fun. I so enjoyed getting to know my court members. Everyone on court is so unbelievably um, amazing and spectacular in their own ways, and we're just so happy to be here. We definitely build lifelong friendships as you go through the process from the application to the interview. It's a lifelong experience. It's something you'll always remember for the rest of your life. This is so cool. I mean, I have to imagine this is something that you will never forget walking down the center of the field and on this big day. Uh, so, I mean, overall, what are you thinking about homecoming? This is one I will never forget. That is for sure. Homecoming is such a special time for the alumni and as students, we just have loved being able to be a part of this and, and have this special opportunity. Yeah, it always symbolizes such strong history and tradition within the school. So to be a part of that with my beautiful princess, it's an honor. All right, congratulations, Thank the you. Chief and Princess for 2017. this segment now of the show, but standing next to me before we go to commercial, you know him, you love him, Patrick Verano. Verano Heating and Air, one of the guys that makes this show possible. Verano Heating and Air, you see their message every week, and wow, here you are on the show. So how do you feel being actually on the show this week? Hey, it's great. We're down here at Doe Campbell Stadium. Been watching the Knowles take on Delaware State. It's going to be a great day. We're, we're stoked. I've got our baseball team, the Tallahassee Tomahawks. Yeah, let's talk about these guys. Yeah. Yeah. They are out here fundraising for Cooperstown. Um, they're going to be going in a couple years. 
and they're doing a raffle, $10 raffle for a Yeti, a shotgun, or Coastal sunglasses. It's a great deal for 10 bucks. but that they're working it hard, these guys, for the future of Seminole baseball right here, guys. You're seeing them right now. They look like little baseball players. Yeah. As the spokesperson for the group, let's talk about you here. What is your name? What is your team name? And talk to me about why people need to help your team. Um, we need help because we don't, I don't think we have enough money to get to Cooperstown and we need help. Woo! We want to go. All right, tell everybody the name of your team and uh, and, and how do they get a hold of you? Um. <laughs> Website? <laughs> All right, you got a cell phone yet? <laughs> no? All right. Yeah, I'm getting it. You're getting a cell phone soon? All right. Well, Call Patrick, or call the team, get a hold of them. Yes. So, it's a great day. Talk to me about our love for FSU, and, and how much fun is it being out here, the fan experience for games? Yeah, you know, there's nothing like a tailgate at Florida State. Take your kids, you meet with your friends, you cook a hamburger, a hot dog, you have some drinks. There's nothing better on a Saturday than out here at Doug Camp. You see that? All right. And now that we have nowhere else to go, now where can we go other than a commercial break? And let's hear from our friends at Patrick Barino's Barino Heating and Air. Hankerson, athletic director at Rickards High School, and during my time, we've won some games and we've lost some games, but one thing I know is I don't want you to fall into a trap, and when you go buy your next car, I know the perfect place that will not trap you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And who's that car dealership? Kraft Nissan, right here in Tallahassee. I bought six cars from Kraft Nissan, and I wouldn't go anywhere else, and you shouldn't either. Man, that's wild. Live in Tallahassee, back on the air now, and it's time for Quick Shots, and this special episode of Quick Shots dedicated completely to FSU Homecoming, and you're seeing some of that video right now. There were so many things going on for Homecoming this past weekend at FSU, and Live in Tallahassee cameras were there to capture it. A special thank you to the Alumni Association that invited us out to many of their events that they help to organize. Let's go through some of these events now. And of course you are seeing it now. This is the FSU Homecoming Parade, an annual favorite for all FSU fans. Lots of great stuff happening there. As always, the marching chiefs were there. We saw the president, Grand Marshal this year was Jimmy Patronis, our chief financial officer. All sorts of school spirit just emanating right there on College Avenue. It was so much fun, a lot of excitement. Our next stop, we're going to go over to the actual Alumni Center, the beautiful facility there, the host of a great event. Check out this because this happens every Friday night of game weekends. It's the family friendly happy hour alumni gather to begin the weekend of festivities for a home game weekend. All sorts of great food, all sorts of great alumni there, reminiscing about the good old days at FSU. Lots of students in attendance as well. Always fun to see everybody there as they come back, especially on homecoming weekend. But if you want to talk about some big honors, let's check out what happened Saturday morning. This is the 2017 Homecoming Breakfast held at the Alumni Center. And boy, is this a special event that happens every single year. All sorts of FSU legends in the room as alumni come together for a reunion and to present awards. Let me run down some of the awards that were given out. The Bernard F. Sliger Award went to Chuck Earhart. The Award for Distinguished Writing went to Michael Berenbaum. And three grads made goods were honored. They're, these are grads that are doing great things to honor Florida State University. Damon Andrew, Dr. Sandra Dunbar, and Olcidio de la Guardia. Let's hear from some of them now. Hi, I'm Sandy Dunbar. I was just honored with the Grad Made Good Award from Florida State. And this was just such an exceptional morning for me. I was um, just so humbled. And, you know, I um, am a first generation 
college student. I came to Florida State in 1968 and graduated in 72 from the College of Nursing. And I've had a fantastic nursing career, um, which was totally undergirded by everything that I learned here at Florida State. So I love FSU. I'm so honored to have received this award. It was not something I would have ever dreamed of as a student. And I just am so grateful to FSU. So thank you and go Knowles. A special part of the morning was when the Oglesby Award was given out for somebody who a lot of students have got to know over the years, Miss Eva Killings, who has been a staple at FSU for so many years and taken care of so many young students. She is an amazing lady. Let's hear a little bit about what she thought about her award. Hi, my name is Eva Killings, and I just uh, received the honor of an Oglesby Award, and I'm very, very happy and I just love Florida State. It was just so very overwhelming. I couldn't do nothing but share tears because I was very excited. And I'm just so happy. I can't even express the way I feel. I came to Florida State in 1975 and I love every moment of it. I have all the babies. I love them and they show me how much they love me. Right after the breakfast, we went over to the president's homecoming brunch right at his house. And good news, we had there our own Marsha Dahl and Jane Marks to interview people on site. This is FSU homecoming 2017. We are here with President Thrasher, his lovely, fabulous wife, Jean, and their daughter, <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer, and of course, the fabulous Marsha Dahl. We're here to, <laughs> we are here to celebrate FSU homecoming. We're so excited to be here. Tell us about it. It's been an exciting weekend. It really has. We've had a lot of friends from all over the country come. Uh, a lot of great events for Florida State. And then we're going to get a great victory this afternoon. Oh, we're going to get Absolutely. a great victory this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. All right, Jean. What's your prediction? Oh, my gosh. It's just going to be magnificent. Mag as long as I don't care how much we win by, but I hope we do win because I love our boys and they're working so hard. And this is such a passion for them. Mm -hmm. So good luck for Knowles for right. sure. And daughter? Oh, go Knowles. Go Knowles. All right, Marsha. And go Knowles, of course. Okay, so last year we had Chance the Rapper in town. You remember? <laughs> you were so cute when I interviewed you last year talking about Chance the Rapper. But I want to know, are you are you taking the lovely first lady to see Cole Swindell tonight? Probably not that, but Sunday we're going to be seeing Jimmy Buffett and the, oh, the rest of the gang on more, Sunday. I think. Yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, Jimmy's our. Yeah. He's our. Okay, so do I get front row tickets? I get to hang out with you guys, right. Jennifer. <laughs> are you Are you going to stick around for tomorrow, Jimmy Buffett? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Love country music. I'm going to hang out with you. Can I hang out with you? Music. Yeah, sure. Love <laughs> sure. Oh, no, no. Happy home. Happy home guys. Following the brunch, the excitement continues. You saw it in the last segment. FSU taking on Delaware State. Fans everywhere. Alumni everywhere. A good time was had by all. And yes, we really won that game handily. Now check this out, because after the game, it was a brand new concept here. It's Doke After Dark immediately following the game. And what you're looking at here is actual footage of the stage being built on the field. As soon as the team left, the Chiefs performed a final number, and within 20 minutes, the crew ran out, got a stage set up for a full-on concert in Doak Campbell Stadium. And when I tell you this was a great concert, everybody on that side of the stadium where the stage was, stayed in place. The stadium was full over there, full of fans to see Cole Swindell in concert. He put on an amazing show. People were having a fantastic time. The stage, again, set up in record time. Doke after dark, because it was a noon game, we didn't quite hit the dark time, but still a good time was had by all. And great job to that entire team that somehow made all of that happen. And we're going to wrap up our homecoming festivities because once Saturday was done, a full event day on Saturday, Sunday morning we were back at the Alumni Center because this was the Emeritus Alumni Society Reunion. It was the class of 1967 induction brunch and awards ceremony. So let me explain this to you, everybody. The Emeritus folks induct the class that is 
graduated at this point for 50 years. So that would be 1967. So several members of the class of 1967 back on campus to be inducted into the Emeritus Alumni Society. And it was a special time and awards were given out as well. It was a great morning for all. We came quite early our freshman year for band because we had a new director and uh, none of us had ever marched the style that he had at Ohio State. We take eight steps to every five yard markers and the ball of your foot better hit that yard marker. <laughs> and uh, you know I mentioned this has been a, an incredible weekend. It started with the Alumni Association staff uh, organizing the homecoming parade, the chief and princess selection yesterday had uh, an awards breakfast, and of course, organizing the class of 67 reunion. And I want to tell you, the staff has just hit it out of the ball yard, and I wonder if you would help me thank you. And with that, folks, that brought to a close one of the most fun weekends in Tallahassee, FSU Homecoming Weekend. A big thank you to everybody who allowed us to be there with our cameras. The Alumni Association puts on tons of great events year-round on Homecoming Weekend. They're very, very busy. If you want to be a member, please join. Whether you're a former student or a friend of FSU, whatever it might be, join the Alumni Association and support their activities because they do a lot of great stuff every year. Thank you to Scott Atwell and the entire team over there. And that wraps up live in Tallahassee's coverage of FSU Homecoming. North Florida Women's Care offers the highest quality services for obstetrical and gynecological patients. We are a group practice of caring, industry-leading providers. We have the highest quality ultrasound equipment in Tallahassee. You can call or reach us online 24-7 at the patient portal for appointments, test results, billing, or to send a secure message to our nursing staff. North Florida Women's Care delivers the care you deserve and the trust you expect. Live in Tallahassee is back on the air and you are looking at footage of the inaugural Kearney Center cooking competition. And boy, was this a fun one. Our own Ann Howard competing against other local folks to find out who can make the best meal. I'm gonna quickly review the rules and then we're gonna get started. We got one hour to cook. Uh, we're challenging these cooks to cook a uh, appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Yep. Uh, and we're asking them to do it in with just the resources and ingredients that you have donated uh, during the last two weeks. And this is really similar to what the Carney Center does every day. Every day, uh, the chefs there they pull together awesome meals, and uh, they do it with whatever they have available to them. So what we're going to do is get started and then we're going to go around and check in with each cook. Cooks ready? Yes. All right. And get started in three, two, one, cook. Woo! Chris, oh. hold on, let me use All right. All right. Let's see. So I think I'm going to... John Brown, doing a little breakfast this morning. Trying not to lose a finger. Oh, sweet. And uh, yeah, man, you got some potatoes on the... Uh, some potatoes on the grill and the water for a great cause. Kearney Center is an awesome resource in our community, not just a shelter, but obviously a uh, comprehensive center for our homeless community. Something that's uh, very well needed and uh, happy to be here to help raise awareness and funds uh, for the center. Uh, let's uh, do a little check-in here with our judges while our cooks are cooking. So, I all right, Tom Dershapolsky, President of Val Stern, and uh, cook evidently, not really. Uh, we're doing some salmon. Got a beautiful piece of salmon here. We're gonna figure out what to do with that. We already did a little asparagus and garlic. Got a great dessert coming up, and then, of course, don't want to forget my beautiful pickled pig's feet. This is uh, this is the secret sauce right here. That's what's happening here. Judges hard at work. Absolutely. Watching. It's smelling right now. Yes. Smells good. Matt Thompson, a managing partner for the Table Hospitality. Uh, we do uh, Madison Social Township and Trolley Social Catering events and a new bakery in Midtown called uh, Soto. 
So um, I am working on some sort of shrimp pasta feel thingy to uh, for my appetizer um, without trying to burn myself. That's it. What do you guys think? Power's going out. It's not good. All right, Ann Howard, give us an update. Tell us what you're doing. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, Joel. You know I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, right now I have potatoes cooking and I put the bacon on. I've been on Pinterest and cooking sites for days and days and days trying to make sure I don't kill anybody. But just in case, I did bring some Pepto Bismol and it's right there. That's my third, my third course. So I don't poison or make anybody sick, which unfortunately is a real possibility. <laughs> much rice here. That's left. Really? <laughs> Potatoes. Are you done? Are you excited to be here? Man, it's actually awesome because Carney Center is doing awesome things in our community to help folks and uh, Nothing like pickled pig's feet in the morning. So uh, this is the least we could do to help raise some money. They have a much harder task every day ahead of them, right? They have seven to 900 people that are gonna show up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And uh, they have to cook with the stuff they have, so that's what we're doing today. For more than 40 years, Brian Barnard's Flooring America has been making a difference. What sets us apart? A dedicated full-time installation and service manager, ensuring your job is perfect. A knowledgeable sales staff, offering the area's best styles and selections with more than 20,000 square feet of showroom. With strong ties to our community, Brian Barnard's Flooring America makes customer service a priority every day for every customer. Brian Barnard's Flooring America. We're friends and friends. At Budget Blinds, we're in business to frame the light, the day, and the night. So we give you an exclusive combination of high style, expert service, our no surprises pricing, and our no questions asked warranty. We believe that everyone, at every budget, deserves style and service. Isn't that a beautiful place to be? Hey Seminoles, it's that time of the week again to hear some of your awesome events coming up in our area. Here are your upcoming events. Come out this Saturday from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. to hear your favorite blues band, The Good Little Chickens, a band comprised of Leon High School students and alumni. It will be held at the Bradford Blues Club. Tallahassee's first Comic Con will be here December 2nd to the 3rd at the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. Come dressed up as your favorite comic or video game character and get free autographs from the guests of honor, play games, and win prizes. Those were your upcoming events. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in to Live in Tallahassee this evening. On behalf of Silver Digital Media, this is your announcer, John Summer speaking. Good night, everybody.